English. If you if you de if you deny that uh, the Christian God were He to exist as He's defined and described, and He gives revelation, and you deny that that would be self-authenticating, then nothing could be self-authenticating. Self-authenticating. Okay. Well, if you say so. Okay. Uh, God. Well, well, if 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 it if if the Christian God who is omnipotent and who cannot lie, therefore, whenever he speaks, it is the truth. If you deny or reject that that is self-authenticating, then then what could be self-authenticating? The answer is nothing. If an omnipotent God who always speaks the truth and gives revelation, and you reject it, that's self-authenticating. Then by no means that anything less than that could be self-authenticating. Yeah, the uh, hypergeometric uh, dual pairs and Gosper Zeilberg are mechanical summation. That's 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 gibberish. That's gibberish to me. Well, okay. you understand. If, you know, if you want to communicate, you got to speak in, in in plain English. The fact the fact of the matter how is. How do I communicate that in English? Okay, first first of all first of all, it, it, tell, tell me how an inanimate object. A non-sentient object is self-authenticating. Well, that's that's not it. That's that's patently absurd. Sorry, it must necessarily be the case that the objects involved are in, see, see, you in, you know, in, in, in all due respect. You live, in, you live in bizarro world where you want to deny that if the Christian God exists, who always speaks the truth. And he gives revelation that it would not be and is not self-authenticating, but you want to believe that something that is less than that could be self-authenticating. That's bizarro world, Nadia. You're living. You're living in La La Land. I mean, you don't know what self-authentication ends up entailing. We're not, we're, we're not talking. We're not talking about self-authentication in terms of computer programming. That this is logical uh, consequence territory, mathematical uh, proof territory. Okay, listen to me, Nadia. If I always tell the truth, if everything I say is true, and I then tell you that I always tell the truth, is that self-authenticating? No. Yes, it is. By definition, it is. Um, you're mostly using an odd definition. <clears throat> no, no. Do you understand? You already conceded that if I always speak the truth... Okay, that is the case, that I always speak the truth. And nothing I say is wrong. And I therefore tell you that I always speak the truth. I made no such concession. That that is that is Okay, I asked you an if then question. If it is the case that I always speak the truth, and I cannot lie, I cannot utter a falsehood. I then speak to you and tell you that I always speak the truth. Is that statement self-authenticating? Uh, no. Okay, you're you're clueless. Do you under Do you understand that any entity that always speaks the truth and cannot utter a falsehood, therefore, whatever would would be communicated would would be self-authenticating? No. Yes. It's not a process. That doesn't All right. Well, I'm not going to pursue this any further. You're just you're in la la land. Well, if if an entity always speaks the truth, there the, 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 there is no need for external uh, authentication. Okay, and by the way, if you deny self-authentication from a god, then all you're going to be left with is an infinite regress of authentication or justification. Okay, I think. Uh... Do you have a third? Do you have a third option? Do you have Do you have a third option besides self-authentication and an infinite regress of authentication or justification? Is there a third option? Um, allow me to give you an idea of. Uh, Did you hear my question? Is there a third option? I didn't say there's a third option. I'm saying your idea that your. Is there a third option, Nadia? Whatever it is, fit into this is false. So. Nadia, is there a third option? Um, uh, between what again? Uh, self authentic self authenticating statements, or an infinite regress of justification or authentication. Um, 
Well, actually, yes. Uh, um, okay, what is that third option? Uh, well, it's the Munchausen trilemma. Right. Well, that's what the Munchausen trilemma is. It's the second option. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. The Munchausen trilemma is an infinite regress of justification or authentication. Um, um, no. Evolution well, Post, I'm not trilemma. trying to troll you at all or not, but the Munchausen trilemma is the three different options. So you can have the infinite regress, or you can have coherentism, or you can have foundationalism. No, the, no, the, the Munchausen's trilemma is that you have an infinite regress. No, it's uh, that it's a trilemma. Things. So there's three right. different options. Try. It's in the name. Fuck's sake. Okay. I'm on your side, Evolution Falls. I was just 